Good morning. Wait. All right. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Making Magic Family Camping. Yeah, we pulled in last night. I uh, didn't get the camera going because it was kind of. Uh, oh, I don't want to get copyrighted. Hold on. Yeah, uh, like I said, I didn't get the camera going yesterday, but we're sitting here in the morning. We're playing with this snail. We're not really playing with him, but my son has never really checked him out. But when I know when I was a kid, we'd like touch their eyes a little bit and they like go in and they like, you know, how the snail's eyes will like just close back in. And um, yeah, we're just checking him out right now, but. Anyways, probably not gonna use this check-in because due to copyright issues, but yeah, we got Dustin and Cody out here. We had to take out all the junk from the car to be able to fit all of us in the back of this thing that last night, but we are here at the good old Avalaha Springs. Um, Cody, you wanna say hi? Hi. How'd you sleep last night? Yeah, was it actually pretty comfortable? You knocked out like first. You were the first one to knock out. And then Dustin. Anyways, all right. Yeah, that's where we slept. It was actually pretty comfortable. We're staying another night, so you guys will be included. You guys will be, yeah, with us for that. What's up? What is the snail doing? It's moving. <laughs> it's moving? He is moving. He's crawling now, huh? He's going fast. He's like turbo snail. Remember the movie Turbo? Well, here. His eyes are cool, man. They're like out and about right <laughs> now. The eyes. Me, He's <laughs> chasing you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dad. Oh. Uh, yeah. So we're just sitting here watching the snail. He's been like cruising along and just doing his thing. He came, I guess, last night. I didn't see him last night, so he must have just crawled up here sometime this morning it's kind of interesting but just check him out and stuff and show dustin what happens when you touch the eyeball what happens when you touch his eyes no do you see his eyes those two eyes they're like creepy fingers back in my day paradise you know and being able to go and walk across the street jump in the nice blue warm water and just go for a swim and walking my dogs and keep on making all my friends happy and you know, keeping in touch with my family. And then it kills. <laughs> really? I look up to those two guys now. I gotta go, I gotta go like this. Hey, how you doing, boy? And, you know, it's like, hey, your uncle. How you doing? No, that's cool. Your mother nature got some kind of deal going on. I'd like to know a little bit more about that. I think like Bruce or something came up with like the Creepy Fingers movie or it might have been Andy. It's creepy. Yeah. Creepy, it's like that. Really? It's supposed to like look like the snail's eyes when you go like this. It's a shark. It's a shark. I don't know. It was in some surf video. It, it's like a shark. <laughs> it looks like a shark. Yeah. And not look like a shark. It looks like a pile of sharks. But yeah, I did bring like one little pile of wood. We burned it all last night. We got one log left, so we're gonna have to figure out that situation. Looks over to the right and there happens to be like a big pile of of just like sticks. You know, it looks semi-dry. Some of it looks wet. But all this little stuff right in here. So yeah, I might have to use some of that in a little bit. I don't know, stay tuned. We're just cruising for this morning. We already went and got breakfast. And anyways, talking too much. Stay tuned. Talk to you guys in a little bit here. You want to do what? Uh, All right, you guys. So we got a little fire going here. Um, I should have did some more video of like of gathering the sticks or something. Would have been kind of cool, but we're gonna work with what we got. And I'm just gonna see if I can post you guys up here. And then just kind of video us hanging out by the campfire. Let's make the fire. Let's make the fire. You want to do fire? You want to do what? Upgrade the fire. Upgrade the fire? Yeah. Oh, like make it bigger? Yes. 
like upgraded like Ben 10. Oh, that sounds fun. We gotta let just the fire burn because it's doing good right now. See how good it's burning? It's burning perfect. It's like perfect sized fire. We don't need no bigger than that. Look, it's even getting bigger right now. My totten. Ah, oh, coffee tastes so good next to the fire and camping. And, uh, this is just nice. No, leave it, leave it. It's it's videoing us. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh. <coughs> Sneeze attacks. Don't you hate when that happens? Uh. Hi, my Dutton. Tom. Tom. He can do. Feel warm the fire is. Cody, come feel the fire. It's nice and warm now. In a second, I'll put some more stuff on to burn. It's you. Yeah, in a minute it's we can go big. in the pool. It's so big. You can have Takis now if you ate breakfast. Finish eating a couple more bites of this burrito. It's so big. It's so big. It's so big and warm. It's hot. It's actually pretty warm sitting here. Oh, it feels better because it was kind of chilly. Yeah. Temperature is only head. probably like what 56? Let's, let's do a temperature check for you guys. Head. Just for funsies. says feels like 51 so yeah over class cloudy cloudy 51 degrees we kicked up a little fire we found some some brush not too far um yeah heat glass is coming right at us right now got hot Nice and warm, Cody. Mm -hmm. Mom, you want water? You want water? water. Oh. Cody, come here. Wait. I'm water. All right, but you got to make sure they're small. Like break them down to where they're really small, and then you can put them in. That pile is hot right here. It got hot. You, got, you can grab those big ones, you just got to break them in half, and then half again. Are they good? Mm-hmm. My car, my pocket. My pocket, Dad. My pocket. <laughs> You're blocking it? Yeah. My pocket, too. My it's nice and warm, though. I know it's it's wet. The wood's a little bit wet, but it, it lit up now. It's nice and warm. Yeah, and a time check, it is 9.58. So 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, California. Um, yeah, I'm recording right now. Say hi. You gotta sit closer over here. Sit down for a second. Um, yeah, so it's 10 o'clock. In the wood piece. And then um, 51 degrees out, California, Apple Beach, California, coming at you. VTA shit, OTC shit. PBL shit, AVB shit all day, <laughs> Avila Beach. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is uh, Sycamore Hot Springs for those of you who might not know. Um, they did redo the campsites. The, the, the campsites lines were really close together before. You could barely like even fit in here, like anything, anybody. Like it was a tent or anything, but now they like opened it up. They've redone it all back here. It's super nice, super cool place. Uh, 
fire. Fairly priced, ow, ow. reasonable, maybe priced, and uh, yeah, super cool to, to get a night and come and visit here. If you guys haven't, there's uh, the Apple Valley Barn. We might actually have to go and take the kids there this afternoon yeah. or at some point today, and maybe we could do some check ins over there and show you guys what that has to offer. Because that's corn actually maze. cool. Uh, I don't think they have the corn maze right now, but more towards Halloween at the end of summer, they're going to have the corn maze. I don't know if we've ever done check-ins at Avalon uh, Valley Barn, but we'll have to if we haven't. If you're too hot, then you're going to have to move. Whew. Okay. I think that's good for this check-in. We were just, uh, yeah, finishing up some breakfast. Is that better? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. But yeah, I don't know how much of this check-in we're gonna use, but yeah, I got block it, got block it. No idea, yeah, like that. All right, well, stay tuned. We're gonna get in the pool. Uh, I don't know if we're going to bring the camera along or not, but bye I bye. might want to. We're getting in the pool. Bye-bye. Bye. Good morning, you guys. Just woke up. Day number two. We didn't bring the camera into the pool last night and do, to do any check-ins. I had Dustin and Cody, so carrying the camera around was going to be a little bit hard. It was the weekend, so there was like 100 people in the pool, 100 people in the spa. There's quite a few campers that way. It's still a kind of overcast morning. We got the hills on both sides of us. It's really calm right now. The wind's calm. We didn't even, we were so tired yesterday from swimming in the morning, going to Cody's game, coming back and swimming in the night and the afternoon that we didn't even make a bonfire. So we might still do that. We might stay, we might even stay one more night. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna kick us out. They probably want to. I'm just having the time of my life. Like I said, I've been on the medication for I've taken it a month and a week. So I've been on the medication for a month and a week. It's six months long. If the medication doesn't work, then I'm gonna go back to being like paralyzed and crippled. My hands aren't gonna work anymore. So I'm pretty much living life to the fullest right now. It, once my time's up, it's up. I don't know what really God has in store for me after that, but Maybe, maybe I influenced Milliken, maybe I influenced Josh, maybe I influenced 150 other people that I don't even know to like do the right thing or to be the better versions of themselves and to not be what I am, just what happened to me, you know, on top of procrastinating, on top of me getting the disease, on top of me not even... Uh, you know, just being held up by those issues of the disease and the procrastination and and all of like the, the issues with like my home life, my girlfriend life, my kids life, like all that compounding and piling up, you know, has been like a huge weight on me. But, you know, I'm going to keep pushing forward right now. We're going to go get some coffee and yeah, I don't know what else to say. Cody's in here. How'd you sleep, Cody? Do you sleep good? Yeah, in our making magic sweets. All right, we're gonna go get some coffee right now. Uh, some McDonald's from last night. Keeping my son fed. And stuff. All right, we got some trash to clean up. And yeah, talk to you guys in a minute here. All right, what's up you guys? Uh, just going over this edit. It's kind of an old edit. It's been a while just sitting in uh, in my computer just kind of backed up. But um, I didn't really close this video out so I just appreciate you guys watching this one. Like, comment, subscribe. I feel like every time I go to the Avila Hot Springs to film a video, something goes wrong. I either don't like the content, I, lo I lose the content, or actually one of the times I lost my GoPro out there. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, yeah, one of the times I, I even lost my GoPro after doing a video there, like a long video, taking the GoPro in the water and, 
and all that I got it like a lot of good check-ins but yeah this one was super unorganized i appreciate you guys for watching i got a lot of videos coming uh soon so i just i gotta just keep grinding getting these old ones out deleting that content and just get, and putting getting the, the new ones out to you guys so bear with me <laughs> i'm definitely um yeah there's a lot more videos coming so just stay tuned appreciate you guys watching until next time go out there make some magic happen